Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Look at that, bro. It's weekend. What's good, YouTube? So today we got a little OP, broken, however you want to call it. Um, Lightning Dragon build, you feel me? Somebody suggested or requested for me to try this little build out. I ain't gonna lie, I did not know how to build this because I really don't use incantations or none of that. So I had to really look it up. So shout out to Carlos again for this little build, you feel me? Plus, the guy in my comments said use this, the Ash Award, to lower the um the lightning resistance of a boss. So it's all you know, all suggested. I ain't gonna lie, I did not make this myself. I just had it, you feel me? Uh, research. So we got two gravel stone seals. We got the dagger with rapid miss. We got the flower stone gavel. We're on max level. We have no um no armor because we have to use this priestess or you have to be butt naked, you feel me? We got the blue dancer charm, lightning scorpion charm, flux canvas talisman, and god figure icon. We got 13 red ones, one blue one in my blast. I had the lightning tier and the blessing tier. And we have the species heart, you know, to boost our dragon cult incantations. Um, we was had twenty sketchy blessing. Our spells: knight's lightning spear, ancient dragon's lightning strike, golden vow, and half shabriri. My great moon, Redon's great moon. I hope y'all enjoyed this little build, this little requested, suggested build. You know what I'm saying? Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that. All the boss fights will be in the time sense down below. You know, but little disclaimer, this build is very inconsistent. I ain't gonna lie. Like the freaking, the bolts, sometimes they be missing like 100 percentile. The bigger the boss though, the bigger the hitbox, you know, the better this uh, this uh, build goes. But if it's like a small, um, small little boss like Midra or, or Ram, uh, not Ram, uh, Alana, they sometimes you just miss all your freaking bolts. I ain't gonna lie. So you have to kind of be close, but not too close because then you'll miss. But you know, be a little be be a little backed up off the boss. You feel me? So you know, I'll see uh, y'all in the next video. Our right, YouTube. So this is how you use the build. I really don't know why you use it twice, but I think like you use the priestess art twice for some reason. So first, you're gonna pop your rune art. Do the priestess heart. Do your uh, flask. Do golden vow. Pop a green pickle. Do the priestess heart again. I think that like gives you a buff or something. I, I really don't know. Do how shabribi. And then pop a red one. I mean blue one. Then pop a red one. Then if you want to. In the beginning of the boss fight, use this skill. And then if you're far away, use this. Use the R1. And then when you're kind of close, I was explaining it in the last clip. Like, be kind of close, but not too close, or you miss all your, your bolts. And sometimes you don't even need to hold it. Just press R1. You let it, you know, go crazy. Hi, right, YouTube. Alright YouTube, so this will be my stats for level 150. I would have 50 vigor, 20 mind, 30 endurance, 14 strength is the minimum requirement for the flower stone gavel. You need 8 decks, whatever points you have left over from decks, just do vigor, mind, endurance, or or faith. Any or you feel me? Either or. Ten you don't need intelligence, any extra, like I said, do faith, vigor, mind, or endurance. And then you need 15 arcane um, minimum to do the flowerstone gavel. For level uh, 200, I would do 60 vigor. This I would get this one up to 99. Still with a lot of endurance. You feel me? You gonna need quite a lot of endurance. And then there you go. 60 vigor, 31 mind, 40 endurance, 14 strength, max. Faith in 15 Arcane. That's for level 200. Alright, YouTube. Oh, too far. Oh. 
Oh, already? Okay. Okay, my bad. Me alone. I think all hit, bro. There you go. That's okay. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot to press the cool word, man. So I if we can get that off. Can you send it? Oh, oh my gosh. That was too close, bro. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh my gosh. What the fuck? Look at that, bro. It's weekend. Alright. Start again. It was a bad run, but it's all right. Oh Very prone to get hit yourself, you feel me? Even the uncharged ones is pretty cool if you can, you know. This guy's really small, you know, he's a small hitbox. Oh, so, kind of hard to hit this guy. He has a bigger hitbox that would be smooth, but you know. I hit him here. Right there. 
Dude, right there, it's too close, bro. It's too small, bro. I'm almost up. Bro. Oh. Close, bro. Look at that. There are loads of old shit, bro. <laughs> Where's the aiming? It's behind me, bro. <laughs> this is a beautiful skill, bro. I can move out, bro. I would have went out of... I would have went out of freaking... You know, bro. Nope. I'm about to finish him off with this, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Not that. I love how I couldn't dodge right there. Excuse me, sir. Now, righteous. It took too long. That was the longest fight ever. I ain't gonna lie. Alright, y'all, let's start again. Be selling. I be trying to spam, but, you know. I hit this. I don't live too far. Oh, okay. Okay. Bigger targets are better, y'all. Yeah, bro. Sometimes it, it's tricking, bro. I 
Come on, give me about it. You should be. Could have done if I did. Please, Lord, let it be GG's here. Thank you, Jesus Christ, bro. Sometimes this thing is very inconsistent, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you have to be in a perfect position and get all the lightning bolts to hit. If not, if you're too close, you, all of it goes behind him. If your uh, enemy moves, the freaking lightning bolts go this way very inconsistent but it is op so whoever suggested it it's cool but very inconsistent i go lie.